Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know that I have no makeup on right now and I look a mess. That's because I thought I would do a first impressions video today and you would have seen this product if you've seen my e.l.f. haul. That will be linked in the description box if you haven't seen it. But it is the e.l.f. Um, HD Mattifying Cream Foundation and it's the oil free one. I got it in the shade Porcelain so I'm hoping it will work good. I swatched it on my hand and it seems to be okay, but I haven't tried it on my face yet. So I have used a couple of different cream foundations before. One from Elizabeth Arden and then the Max Factor Pan Stick as well was one of my absolute favourites when I was in my teens. So I'm hoping this will be around the same kind of quality. Um, both those products that I used before were very good coverage so I'm hoping this will be quite good coverage as well and I'm hoping that the colour match will be okay it doesn't really look like it will be but I did try one of their other foundations before in the shade porcelain and it matched my skin perfectly so I'm hoping this will do the same thing so first of all the packaging is it's okay like there's a good size mirror then you have the product and then you have like a little sponge applicator but it's not very sturdy um for the price like this was nearly 10 euro so i'm hoping that it's worth the money so um to apply it i think i'll try the sponge just because i don't know how well a brush would fare so i'll try the little sponge that comes with it I already have my moisturiser on so I'm just going to go straight in and apply this. I don't have a primer on because I don't tend to wear a primer every single day. So I just didn't really see the point in wearing one if I don't wear it normally every day. So I'm just going to go ahead and start applying this. It is quite a nice consistency. It's quite um, smooth. And the sponge application seems to be working okay. I'm liking the colour, if you guys can see. The colour is quite nice. And it kind of covered my dark circle, but not really. But no foundation really does that for my dark circles anyway. I tend to have to wear a concealer under my eyes anyway. I'm actually really liking the sponge. It'll be really handy for if you're using this um, foundation on a night out. Just pop it in your bag, run it with you. Okay, so I do have a little bit of breakout on my forehead and my nose does tend to be very red. So I'm going to see how well this covers. It kind of does slide all over your face, so you really would need to set this with a powder. I know it says it's mattifying, and it does kind of dry to a matte finish, but it's still kind of shiny. And I don't like um, dewy products. I'm just going to blend it down. So as you can see, I'm still quite shiny. I'm just going to um, dab the sponge all over now to blend. So that's what it looks like all over. It kind of doesn't really... Um, it kind of doesn't dry to a complete matte, it is still a little dewy, so I will have to set mine with a powder because I don't personally like that look on myself. Um, I prefer a matte base. 
But the colour match is pretty good. It does tend to slide when you're trying to blend, so you kind of have to press to blend it out. I'd say it's medium to full coverage. You could probably build it up to be extremely full coverage. Um, it did kind of cover my problem areas, but you, they're still kind of peeking through a little bit. But overall, I am quite impressed. So we'll see how it fares throughout the day and I will check in with you to see how it lasts. So I'm back and I've been wearing my foundation for about five hours now. And looking in the mirror, I'm not impressed. Looking at my makeup now, I'm really not impressed. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's completely came away from all around my mouth. And it's also um, started to separate and cling to dry patches. And my skin isn't really that dry, but I do have a couple of dry patches, but it's kind of... Um, made it look even worse and um, it seeped in through all the cracks it gathered around my nose and it's pretty much came off my nose and separated it's separated pretty much everywhere and it just looks really bad and dry and flaky it just looks really really bad I'm really not impressed for a foundation to do that after only five hours is really bad. So I'm going to end up having to take my makeup off now. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. I'm really not happy. Maybe it'd work better with a primer underneath because like I said, I didn't use a primer. I don't tend to use primers every single day, so I just didn't use one. So maybe that's why, but I really don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Please thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.